Welcome back to Midland. It's estimated that nearly 55,000 seniors in Clark County are going hungry. That's why our next guests are stepping up to the plate to help feed our community, and they're asking for your help. And here with more on their Feed a Senior campaign is Melissa Harkavy and Andrea Graham with Helping Hands of Vegas Valley. Did I say your name right? Because I yes, know you go did. by Andy. I like to go by Andy, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so now tell me about the Helping Hands of Vegas Valley campaign. Um, Helping Hands of Vegas Valley is one of the best nonprofits in town yep. that helps seniors with free transportation. They have a great food pantry and they deliver to homebound seniors as well as doing respite care for giving their family members a break. Yeah, because it, it's interesting, you know, I, I don't think about this as much, but when I was looking through it all, it's it's difficult to, when you you don't realize when you don't have transportation, how difficult it is to do just the, the daily tasks that need to be done. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, so not only do you guys accept donations, mm -hmm. but on top of that, you can, there's other volunteer positions as well, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So what kind of volunteering positions can people? Well, actually, up? if you're interested, yes. um, you can actually go out and deliver food to seniors in the community. And these food bundles include fresh produce, loaves of bread, paper goods, and non-perishable goods. And these goods will be good for about a month, which really wow. helps a senior living on a fixed income. And you had mentioned there's a donation now with just a $20 donation. Absolutely. How long does that last? Well, for $20, that'll last a senior for an entire month. An entire month with yes. $20. It's yes. a phenomenal that's, organization. I don't even know how you would do that, but that's that's fabulous. I mean, just yes. to think that, and now I know you have a waiting list, too, yeah. on some of this. So the idea that these donations, mm -hmm. just with $20, can start helping to feed more and more seniors. How did you get involved with this? I know you both have mm -hmm. different stories. Yeah, I actually Andy. own a home care company and I was approached a couple of years ago because I see these seniors yeah. who can't necessarily afford our service, but they still need to have somebody come in and take care of them. And the board president at the time um, said, hey, you know, I've got this organization that has food pantries, does free transportation. And I'm like, this is a great opportunity yeah. for people that can't afford us to still get the services they need. So I partnered partnered up right away and I've been with them almost two years. That's amazing. And Melissa, what's your story? Well, you know, seniors in our community, they some of them live on about $700 a month. So after you pay for assistive living for about $500 a month, you really have to choose between whether you're going to pay for your prescription drugs, your medical bills, and when it comes to food, I mean, you just don't want to have seniors who have lived their whole lives supporting other people be hungry. So it's really captivated me to want to not only fundraise and join the board, but also volunteer and deliver those meals in person because our seniors, above and beyond the food that they receive, it's the companionship. Yeah. It's someone who comes by every month to check on them that really makes a difference. And how can viewers volunteer to either to donate or to donate yeah. their time as well. If they want to call the office, um, they can talk to Brenda, who's our volunteer coordinator, okay. and she can put them in whatever capacity that they want. If they want to be a driver, or if they want to bring their organization to come out and pack food for us, or you know, help us put it in the bags, or any of those things, or making the phone calls to the mm -hmm. seniors to let them know we're coming. They get very excited to know we're coming, and they, if, if they're at all nervous, they'll call a couple days ahead just to make sure, Aww. because they, that's their food for the whole month. Yeah. And, you know, they want to make sure they're going to have it and they are so appreciative every time we come so I find it very um, very much a lot of pleasure for me and my family to yeah. go and donate. And I saw on your website too that some of them even develop relationships with the volunteers if they have a regular one and that that mm -hmm. helps as well too yeah. with conversations and Absolutely. If you're a volunteer and you're delivering food and you're maybe 20 minutes late, you'll get a call from that senior. They just want to make sure that you're on your way. Yeah, and, and, yeah no, one, no one will be more excited to greet them, right, when they open the door. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's a fabulous thank thing you. that you guys are doing. And um, in honor of Grandparents Day, which is Sunday, Helping Hands of Vegas Valley has kicked off their Feed a Senior campaign. It runs throughout the month of September. And get this, just a $20 donation feeds a senior for a month. To donate and for volunteering opportunities, visit the website or call the number on your screen.